So I decided to remove the gas tank because last time when I test ran the engine, I smelled gas for a few days afterwards. I was wondering if possibly there was a leak under the gas tank. And it looks like there is. I'll come and show it to you right here. Actually, there are several leaks here, 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 and I'm not sure, but possibly there. So, it looks like um, maybe we need to repair a gas tank or replace it. Now, I debated for a while, or I did some research to trying to decide how to fix the leaky tank. And uh, basically it boiled down to three options. Uh, the first would be to replace the tank, which a new tank costs about oh, $350 to $500, depending on whether you get a reproduction or uh, the uh, actual OEM one. Um, use this JB Weld steel stick, which is a, it's an epoxy that you, um, basically you slice little chunks off of it and then mix it. There's uh, the two parts for the epoxy are, are inside like that. Or to uh, go ahead and weld new metal in. Um, I decided against the first option mostly because of the cost and the third option mostly because of the hazards related to that. You have to be sure that there's no fumes remaining in the gas tank. And uh, I did quite a bit of research. There's quite a few people that say if you get all the old rust out and if you do a good job cleaning it and de uh, especially getting the oil off of it with a with a cleaner the same as you would for paint and then you protect the paint from rust in the future it should last for quite a few years as uh, I read one well, saw one guy who um, who's lasted 15 years so um, that's what I decided to do so I've got the tank stripped down, um, all the rust is removed, I've started to repair the holes here with the JB Weld, and uh, once that's done, I'm going to um, prime it with this cold galvanizing compound, and that should, um, that should do the trick. Well, the patches are in, and I've put the primer on. I'm going to stop here for the day and wait for the epoxy to finish curing. Um, they say you can do this after an hour. It's been more than an hour, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow and um, put something inside and see if it leaks. And that'll be the next video. If everything's good, then I'll put the repaint it black and put it back in the vehicle. It's been about 24 hours. I've uh, filled the gas tank up with gasoline and I'm checking for leaks and everything looks pretty good. Also I finished um, priming it so once this is done I can go ahead and give it give it its final coat of paint. But um, things look good so I'm gonna get its final coat of paint and back in the car you go. And there it is, the gas tank, the leaks are fixed, it's back in the vehicle, it's strapped down. And um, I still have a little bit of work to do way back here to get the fuel, the fuel pump and other things secured. But then the next step after that is to get the back seat back, I mean the front seat, out of the back and back up here where it belongs. So that's the end of the gas tank story.